Coach Dave, uh, thank you very much for your time. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Yes. How are you? Good, good. Uh, you're on tour here? Yeah? Yes. Uh, can you Final. tell us a little bit about your tour? When did you arrive? Which teams you've played with? <laughs> yeah, so we, we've had a quite an uh, action-packed tour, eight days. Uh, so we arrived last Saturday um, and then uh, trained and then we played Black Aces the next day. Uh, nice game, uh, so we won that one 3-1. One. Then we played Tux, a uh, really tough, tough game and came away with a 1-0 win in that one. Um, then we uh, Thursday Sundowns. We played uh, one of their teams. Um, certainly wasn't their top top strength team, so we won that one four nil. And then we've just played Super Sports Academy here. And uh, what started off as a really uh, really tough battle. I think we were maybe two nil up at half time, and then we pushed through and, and came through nine nil. So it was a Big scoreline. Uh, the boys think, uh, showed some extra fight and character. The, I said to them, you, "This is the last game of the tour. Just give everything." Um, so yeah, I mean, like we've we've had <laughs> we've had a lot of fun um, on the field, and then uh, quite a bit of off off the field activities as well. Uh, Coach Dave, just so that we understand, what is the objective of the tour? Because you could have played friendlies in Cape Town. Yeah, I mean, look, we we play um, obviously a lot of teams in Cape Town and. Um, and I think the boys are just ready for a fresh challenge. They've, they've been performing quite strongly in Cape Town. So I think that we felt we needed to see what's, what else is, what other teams are there, um, give them something fresh um, to go for. I think it is a strong group. Um, and so really, and, and also to bring um, some unity, you know, just unify as a team. A tour is great for that. Give them experiences, help them with a coaching t um, course. Um, some of the boys help speak at an event with an event called Dual Dream um, on Thursday night with Ricardo Katza. Um, so, yeah, we try and give them as many experiences as, as they can, um, and that we hope that they learn from them. Um, it's, you know, um, realistically at these ages, life's a bit easier. Um, they must enjoy enjoy these things because it, it's going to get very tough for them soon. Uh, it was last year I, speak, I spoke to Coach like, no, Moritz or Casey yes, Moritz, Moritz. Yeah. and he did mention that you're not just only looking at developing uh, footballers but you are trying to holistically develop future young leaders Absolutely. Well. and how important are tools like this in that aspect of development absolutely I mean uh, look uh, the reality is that all of these boys of course want to be professional footballers um, but not all of them will be um, and even if they do become professional footballers, what are they going to do next? So we do a lot of preparation. We, we call it dual dream um, for preparing for the day they stop pursuing professional football or stop playing professional football. Um, so these boys are in a full time private school altogether. Um, half of them are in a residence together. Um, and we, we get to really spend time mentoring and building character because ultimately uh, we want to be seeing men who are going to be stepping up in their communities, great fathers, great leaders, great um, husbands. And, you know, like they could be a great footballer, but if they've got poor character, we've, we've failed. We've not done our job. So we are really inspired to see these young men be transforming young men in South Africa. Some of them might do it through football, some might go on scholarships, um, but that is our primary focus. Uh, like you said, you played four games. What do you think of the standard of the scouting teams that you played, and in terms of the approach? Because yeah. we are often told that uh, the approach in Cape Town is so Eurocentric. Uh, how different are the approaches in terms of football uh, compared to the teams you played against? Yeah, I mean, like we we've been we've loved the way we've been hosted. We've been really well looked after by Tux, um, and yeah, and it's been it's been great to play these teams. Like uh, the organisation is fantastic, facilities is fantastic, and look at um, the standards good like I, I think that we you know we um, especially in that third game against Tux and the second game against Tux I said that, you know this would be a top top game in Cape Town um, so the depth I think the depth of um, of clubs and academies here is very very strong and uh, obviously today the first half against Supersport was superb like really close tight tight game and then obviously um, our legs pushed through for that scoreline, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's very impressive. Uh, at times, uh, it was a very physical game, but your, your, your boys seem to dominate physically. Some of them are really... Yeah. Is, is that uh, <laughs> just a natural growth spurt, or is, is there a specific program that you are running to, to, to build them physically? <laughs> 
Look, I, I think if you, you look at, for example, our engine team, um, these under-14s are the same size as our engine team. Um, it just it just happens that this year we've got a lot of boys who are bigger. And I think that that means that they can compete, and so we often play under-16. Um, so, uh, look, we, we, we recruit often. We, we're known for recruiting small boys. It just happens that this year we, we've got big lads. So I, I wouldn't say we, we, we're not putting them in the gym or doing any big program but we we do give them good nutrition um so um yes uh, uh, certainly the biggest under 14 the fact that the under 14 team the fact that a lot of the boys are nearly my height already um yeah it means i can look after themselves well uh, and just so that we we also understand what you guys doing at Ubuntu in terms what structures do you have uh, and divisions yeah. where which competitions do you participate in yeah. participate in, in cape town and so on so that we get a picture of what you guys are doing there. Yeah, so we, we start uh, right from ages 7, 8, 9, 10, um, with pre-academy uh, pre programs around the city we call skill schools. Then we have a, a more um, pre-academy sort of select program for kids that are impressed in their clubs. They don't leave their clubs and they just train with us once a week. And they're trying to push into that under 12 group, which has got under 10s, 11s and 12s. So then we get to spend um, you know, a good two, three years getting to know the boys, their families. And then uh, by the under 13 year, we give eight scholarships out um, every year. Um, in, and then we, they enter the private school, the Ubuntu Football Academy School. Um, and so then we have our under 14 group, under 16 group, under 18. And then, I mean, our under 18 is quite heavily ABC Motsepe as well. Um, and so we, we play in the High Performance League in Cape Town. Um, it's, it is a small league, but the great thing about it is we get good competitive games every week. So it's with Stellenbosch, Hout Bay and Young Bafana, setups that we really work closely together with. We, you know, we recognise we need to work closely together. And, and I think that we, we, we recognise as much as we would like to play more diverse teams and we want it, we're trying to grow the league. Um, it's important that the boys are tested week in, week out. We, we don't really want to be getting big score lines um, that sort of thing often so um, that's, be, that's been a real big help um, I think in, for us and so hopefully we can grow it. Coach Steve, thank you very much for your time and all the best in your future endeavours. Thank you. Thanks.